Hey guys, Arena Stories here, and today I'm going to be showing you two different assassination specs that you can PvP with in Phase 4. Now, before the video starts, guys, I just wanted to state that assassination is currently not the best spec to PvP with, at least not for now. The reason why, guys, is because they nerfed Envenom and Mutilate. And the damage difference between Backstab and Mutilate is significantly different, especially the energy cost, which is why I am not recommending this for your main spec, but it is still viable to PvP with, you can still kill your targets and have fun with it. So first off, guys, we are going to be taking 5 out of 5 on Malice for the additional crit. We're going to head over to Murder, 2 out of 2, the additional damage. Next is Ruthlessness, 3 out of 3, which gives us a 60% chance to add an additional combo point when we do use our finisher. Next is Vanetta Strikes to refund our energy. Next is Lethality, 5 out of 5, guys, for the additional 30% bonus damage on Mutilate. Next is Via Poisons, 5 out of 5, guys, to increase our Envenom damage. Next is Improved Poisons, 5 out of 5 here as well, which increases our Poison application by 10%, which means we can Envenom faster. Next is Cold Blood, 1 out of 1. Next is Seal of Fate, 5 out of 5, to give us a 100% chance to gain a combo point whenever we do crit. Next is Vigor, to increase our energy pool by 10. Now, Vigor does correlate extremely well, guys, with the new ring, Craft of the Shadows, which you can get by farming dungeons, which also increases our energy pool by 10, which gives us a total of 120 energy. Next, we're heading over to the Combat Talent Tree. We will be taking 2 out of 2 on Improved Sinister Strike. Now, you might be thinking, why would you take 2 out of 2 on Improved Sinister Strike if we're using Mutilate? The reason why, guys, is for quick draw so since we are playing mutilate we are not going to be using backstabs so slaughter of the shadows is completely useless guys and we will not be using deadly brew since we have the new poison oculate poison which acts as a new improved version of deadly poison so the only remaining option is quick draw and if you guys look closely quick draw benefits from all talents that affect or trigger or modify sinister strike so in this case guys it reduces the energy cost of quick draw so if your target is trying to get away like a mage or a hunter you can slow him from a distance next we are taking three out of five on lightning reflexes now we are taking this guys not because it is a good talent it is because we cannot take improved gouge since we will be using poisons and ticking damage and we can't control our target and we mainly just want this guys to go to the next talent improved backstab by 30 percent which increases our mutilate crit chance by 30 percent next we're heading over to the sub talent tree five out of five on opportunity guys to increase our mutilate damage by 20 percent two out of two on elusiveness and finally two out of five on master of deception now we are taking two out of five on master of deception guys because we are playing with filters cowl our cloak which basically already gives us three levels of improved stealth and lastly one out of five on camouflage for the movement and now we're gonna head over to the ruins guys for our head ruin we will be taking combat potency which gives us a 20 percent chance to gain 15 energy so whenever you do mutilate your offhand has a chance to trigger and refund you 15 energy next is our chest ruin quick draw since we cannot take anything else and it is an extremely beneficial and useful ruin guys next is our waist shadow step to get to our target faster next is our legs in venom next is our feet waylay now we are taking waylay guys because we are not going to be using crippling poison now the reason why we're not using crippling poison guys is because we are substituting it with oculate poison which is an improved version of deadly poison if you guys look closely here oculate poison damages your enemy over time for 108 damage but we primarily want this because it causes the enemy to take an additional two percent damage that is not physical so from your envenom guys that stacks up to five times and for our offhand poison it is going to be wound poison guys now in the second spec that i am going to show you we will not be using wound poison but i highly highly recommend that you do use wound poison guys because if you're finding a target like a warrior a priest or a mage and they decide to heal themselves it can be extremely detrimental towards the fight and get you killed if they manage to recover which is why i highly recommend the first spec over the second spec next we are going to be taking unfair advantage now you might be thinking why wouldn't we take carnage since now carnage increases our overall damage by 20 percent when we do bleed our target and rupture also heals you for 40 percent of the damage it does the reason why we're not taking this guys is because in season of discovery everything is instant we do not want to stay on our target for long and bleed them especially since we're playing in venom we can just instantly destroy any armor plate targets which is why it is better to take unfair advantage so whenever you do dodge for example if you use evasion and you're fighting another rogue strikes back your enemy rogue dealing a 100% weapon damage. Next is our hands, mutilate of course. Next is our fingers, dagger specialization to reduce the chances of us missing. And lastly, nature specialization to get access to the new poisons. Now I'll be heading over and showing you guys the second assassination spec that is extremely, extremely powerful. Now guys, this is the second assassination spec. First off, this is Malice, two out of two. 
Ruthlessness TR3, Excess Relentless Strikes for the Energy Refund, and Improved Exposed Armor. Now, why are we using Exposed Armor, guys? Because the second spec, we will not be using Wound Poison, and we will be going all in on damage. Next is Lethality, 5 out of 5. Next is Improved Poisons, 5 out of 5. Next is Vile Poisons, 5 out of 5 as well. Cold Blood, 5 out of 5 on Seal of Fate. Vigor, moving on to the Combat Tanitry. Lightning Reflexes, TR5. Improved Sinister Strike for Quick Draw, and of course, Improved Backstab. Now, moving on finally to the South Tree Opportunity 5 out of 5, 1 out of 5 on Master of Deception, and 2 out of 2 on Elusiveness. As for the runes, guys, it is exactly the same, nothing changed. The only thing that we changed, guys, is taking Improved Exposed Armor for Sebastian's Poison because the damage can be ridiculous, but it does not come without risk. If your target manages to get out of a stun or manages to get distance and is able to heal themselves somehow, it can be extremely detrimental to you if you cannot kill them in time, which is why I still recommend using the first spec. The second spec can be extremely fun one-shotting your targets. Again, it comes with risk, guys, which I do not recommend taking since wound poison is extremely, extremely important in PvP. And yeah, that is all for now guys, if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.